Hey, I'm Allie Saunders, and in today's video tutorial brought to you by Storyblocks, I'm going to show you how to place footage inside of text in Premiere Pro. This effect's really cool because it's going to make the text transparent so we can see the footage underneath the text and use the shapes of each letter to show the footage within it. And the final result can be really visually engaging. The video clip we're going to be using today is a stock clip that I found on storyblocks.com. They make it really easy to find stock footage for all your editing and video needs. All right, I've downloaded the clip and imported it into Premiere Pro. Let's right click on this clip and select new sequence from clip. Great, here it is on our new sequence. Let's go up to window and check mark essential graphics to open the essential graphics panel. Here it is on the right. And when you're choosing a text to use for this effect, I recommend picking a thicker font so that you can see more of the footage within the text. Let's select the type tool in our toolbar, click on the program window where we can see our footage and type the word explore. We'll select that text and under the text heading, we can increase the text size so that it fills a lot of the screen. If you'd like to extend the height only of your text under the align and transform tab, you can click on the set scale lock to disable it and increase the height here. I'll click on the vertical and horizontal center buttons to position my text so that it sits more in the center of the frame. We'll drag the duration of this text layer on the video two track out so that it matches the length of our clip on the V1 track. Next, let's go over to our effects window and in the search bar type in track matte key. This effect is in the video effects keying folder. We'll drag the track mat key effect onto our video clip on video track one, making sure our clip is selected, head over to the effect controls panel, and there's our effect. Where it says mat, let's click the drop down menu and select the video track that our text layer is on, which is video two. And there you go. Using the track mat key, the text graphic on video track two has acted as a mask over the footage on video track one. With our selection tool, let's click on the text on the program window and move it around. And notice when we do this, we're able to see different parts of our footage within the text. Let's select the text layer and footage on our timeline and move them up to the V2 and V3 track. And as you can see, when we do so, the effect no longer works the way it's supposed to. That's because we had track mat key masking video track two. Now we'll get to that in a moment. First, let's go up to our project window and click on the new item icon to select color mat. We'll create a white color mat and drag that onto the video one track. Making sure our footage on the video two track is selected, we can go into effect controls and under track mat key, mat, choose video three. There you go, you now have your footage within text with a white background. As video editors, it's valuable to know multiple ways to apply an effect like this. And in more recent updates, Premiere Pro has given you the option to do this right inside the essential graphics panel. So I'll show you how to do that now. As we did before with our text tool, we'll type explore on the program window, making sure that text graphic is selected so that we can see the text layer in the edit tab. Let's drag our story block stock clip from the project window right into the essential graphics panel underneath the text layer. Let's select that text layer and in the appearance tab, check mark mask with text. And just like that, you have footage inside your text. With our footage layer selected, let's go to the Align and Transform tab. And here we can adjust the sizing and positioning of our footage. I'm gonna drag the position of this footage over more so that I can see this stock clip's awesome sun flare within my text. Let's check this out. As you can see, we have our footage inside our text and we've adjusted the position of the footage so that we can see that cool sun flare. There you go. You now know how to make footage show within your text in Premiere Pro. That brings us to the end of our video tutorial about how to place footage in text in Premiere Pro brought to you by Storyblocks. My name is Ali Saunders and we'll see you next time.